The Royal Bahamas Police Force has added 20 additional hybrid interceptor vehicles to its fleet. The new wheels donated by the United States were officially commissioned during a special handing over ceremony at the police East Street headquarters this afternoon. Two new fire engines will also be shipped over to Exuma. Now, thanking the United States government for assisting the Bahamas in its crime fight, Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis says the new vehicles will aid in increasing patrol situations in high crime ridden areas. Saturation patrol could be in the fight against crime, preventing it and detecting it very quickly. So <coughs> I want the Bahamians to know that I appreciate that all Bahamians deserve safer neighborhoods. Crime and the fear of crime too often pervade daily life, undermining and limiting our ability to build stronger, healthier, and more vibrant communities. Now residents will be able to see and feel an increased police presence and the police will have new capacity to respond quickly to any criminal activity. The vehicles will be outfitted with GPS, which will allow the command center to make more efficient decisions about how to deploy resources in real time. U.S. Charge of Fair Yusha Pitt says the donations are response to the high demand for these vehicles in the wake of Hurricane Dorian. Vehicles um, on top of 32 that we previously donated. Um, and they were donated uh, uh, in response to Hurricane Dorian, which really wiped out the basic infrastructure on the islands of, of Abaco and Grand Bahama. And it was uh, our hope that these vehicles would help provide some of that basic citizen security to uh, people living on those hurricane-ravaged islands. Um, so, um, so that's why we're here for those, uh, uh, for those vehicles.